Hiya, I'm Terry from Plot69 and today I'm going to make gooseberry vodka. Um, we've been down the allotment, we already had a gooseberry brush, we didn't have to do any work. Brilliant. Um, tons and tons of gooseberries. These are red ones, never seen them before. Apparently they're dessert gooseberries and they're sweeter than other gooseberries. So, um, I found some very easy looking liqueur recipes, we shall see. Um, and these are ones that I have washed and topped and tailed. Let me give you a bit of advice. If you're going to do this, get a podcast or something to listen to because it's a f***ing pain in the arse. Um, so, I'm going to take these and I'm going to make my, my alcohol. Right, so what we got... 600, 600, no, 500, 500 grams of gooseberries, which have already been topped and washed and cut in half and all that. 100 grams of sugar, don't need as much sugar because they are sweeter. If you're doing it with green gooseberries, um, you need quite a lot more sugar. Um, I think you need something like 350 grams, like um, more anyway. Uh, these are a couple of bottles we just got from the shop earlier, um, with the lids on. Big bottle of vodka, and uh, you'd probably need a funnel, we don't have a funnel, we thought we had a funnel, we don't have a funnel. This is a bit out of a, uh, out of an iron, so we're just making do with that, that'll do. It'll be fine, we can bodge it. Um, so, that should be it, really. So I'm just going to get on with it. painless. A um, couple of points. Number one, yeah, probably need a funnel. That It was a good idea, but I think a funnel would just make it quite a lot easier. I managed to get sugar all over everything. Um, the other thing I didn't say is you probably you need um, a container probably with a lid like this, you, like a kilner jar or something like that, or um, anything that you can close tightly. And um, that's it really. So now I have to seal this up and give it a shake. And then that will go in a, a, a dark, cool, dark place for, um, I think, I'll have to check. I think it's six months. One moment, please. Okay, facts checked. Um, yes. You must give it a shake every day until the sugar's dissolved and then leave it for four months if you must. Six months is better. So this should be ready in time for Christmas. Hooray. 